So in my Ryzen 3900X review earlier this week, I concluded that the 3900X would be my personal pick for a streaming CPU. So today we're testing streaming a bit more in depth, looking at a few more encoding presets versus the 9900K. And we're also going to see if our conclusion changes uh, when we test the Turing NVENC encoder on NVIDIA's new GPUs. For those of you who do remember, we have visited the new RTX NVENC encoder and looked at how the visual quality compares to X264 encoding on the CPU. This is new hardware that was introduced to all Turing GPUs except the GTX 1650, and visually it is a huge step up from what you would get from the 10 series GPUs. In that video, we basically concluded that streaming with NVENC is visually as good as using the X264 fast preset in OBS and was significantly less demanding in terms of the frame rate lost in game. This meant that you could stream your games at 1080p 60fps to Twitch without any significant loss in frame rate while gaming. However, during the testing in this video, I have found one use case where streaming with NVENC is not ideal and where X264 encoding is a lot more reliable. And most of us are familiar with these two CPUs at this point, the 12 core Ryzen 3900X and the 8 core 9900K from Intel. Both can be had for around 500 US dollars each, and currently they are the top of the line mainstream desktop CPUs. So for testing, I will be using Streamlabs OBS version 0.15.1. This software is just a fork of the original OBS that most of us know of. It also includes all of the same presets and settings. So here we're taking a look at four different encoding presets being streamed in For Honor. The faster the preset, the lower quality you'll see, but for a better streaming and gaming performance. So the slow preset here offers the best visual quality, but at a pretty significant cost in performance as we'll see. Just take note of the visual quality that you see here for some context for the benchmarks that we're about to look at. In the streamer world, X264 Fast is thought of as a pretty decent viewing experience in the context of a live stream, provided that the bitrate is sufficient. X264 Medium is considered an exceptional quality, and X264 Slow really should be reserved for high-end dual system stream setups, but we will be benchmarking it today just to show each CPU's limitations. I will mention that if you are using a lower core count CPU, you could probably get by streaming at just 720p with the very fast or ultra fast presets, but those settings are kind of pointless to test with the 9900K and 3900X. So for this video, we will be targeting higher quality presets and more demanding settings. All right, so let's jump right in and let's start with Far Cry 5 at 1080p. And here we're looking at the gaming side frame rate and how much frame rate is being lost while streaming compared to not streaming. So the gray bars represent the average frame rate while gaming as usual, with the blue bars representing gaming while streaming. We will look at the stream side data in just a second. So while streaming with NVENC, that's the GPU, we only see around a frame rate reduction of 7%, while the 9900K and 3900X using the comparable X264 fast preset lose about 28% and 16% respectively. So streaming on the GPU clearly has the lowest impact to frame rate while gaming, but more on this in just a minute. When directly comparing the 9900K and 3900X, the 9900K suffers the most impact from streaming, but still maintains a slightly higher frame rate on average. When comparing both CPUs using the X264 medium preset, both CPUs are pretty much neck and neck, but remember that this is just the gamer side, the stream side is a completely different story. Before we look at the stream side though, let's take a closer look at the frame times, as average frame rate does not show us the full picture. Again, these are the frame times, the interval between each frame, and so the higher plots are worse. Here I just wanted to show how truly demanding streaming is while gaming on something even like the 9700K, where it is stuttering all over the place. If you are serious about running a single PC stream and streaming on the CPU at a decent quality, a high core count and thread count is definitely a great idea. Here's a direct comparison between the stock 9900K and 3900X streaming with the X264 medium preset at 1080p, and despite the 9900K managing a slightly better result for average FPS, it does suffer higher frame time spot bikes in comparison. This results in noticeable stutters and frame rate dips during the gameplay. Now let's take a look at how things are faring up on the stream side. So essentially here we're looking at the viewer's experience. Here we're looking at how many frames are lagged or delayed during the stream and also how many frames are just straight up skipped. Lagged and delayed frames can be identified as a sort of jerky or rubber banding movement whereas skipped frames are shown as stutter. So the R9 3900X here provides a flawless stream at X264 fast, medium and even 
and slow. The 9900K is lagging less than 1% of frames at X264 fast and medium, but when using the X264 slow, it absolutely falls apart. Now being totally realistic here, you generally want to avoid X264 slow for streaming as it is complete overkill. Remember, the context here is a live game stream where most of your viewers are watching on a phone or in a small window on their desktop. The difference between X264 medium and slow will honestly not be noticed. In fact, here is a direct comparison between X264 slow and medium using the 3900X. I personally think that X264 medium should be the absolute upper limit of what most streamers should be looking at. Also notice that streaming on the GPU isn't exactly perfect. We still see a lagged frame here and there, although below 1% isn't exactly noticeable. Same for the 9900K. For some more perspective on streaming demands, I also quickly tested 720p 60fps. This is still a viable resolution to stream at if you don't care too much about quality. And here we can see that there is a lot less impact on frame rate since there's less to encode. All right, looking at For Honor now, and here I wanted to show the impact streaming has on a less CPU intensive title. And in this instance, there is less of a margin between the 9900K and 3900X. In fact, here the 9900K actually beats out the NVENC encoder in terms of overall frame rate loss losing only 5.5%. Here, the only real difference between the 3900X and 9900K is when streaming with the X264 slow preset, in which case the 9900K is a stuttery mess and is completely unusable. X264 medium did also show slightly more stress on the 9900K, with skipping 1.2% of frames versus the 3900X's flawless 0%. Personally, I think X264 fast is an absolutely sufficient encoding preset for a live stream, provided that the bitrate is high enough. And again, for the majority of viewers who are going to be watching on a smaller screen, it does actually look quite good. Now, I know what a lot of you are wondering, why not just stream on the GPU? There's no need for a $500 CPU to stream with, seeing as Nvidia's NVENC encoder is actually a thing. So if all you're streaming is gameplay, I'd argue that this is absolutely true. Streaming on the GPU costs you less in terms of frame rate, the quality is overall pretty good, and you can maintain 60 FPS no problem at all. Here's a look at some direct footage streaming at 1080p 60 FPS with NVENC, and I think we'd all agree that this is certainly acceptable quality. You do get the rare, and I mean very rare, encoder lag or frame skip, but I bet most of you haven't noticed it in the gameplay stream that you're watching right now. There is one problem with NVENC though, and it's the reason that I personally will be avoiding it for my streams, and that's that when you add another video source to encode, like a webcam for example, the stream fluidity and smoothness drops tremendously. As you can see here, we get this sort of rubber banding and jerky effect where the player movement isn't as linear and smooth compared to having the webcam off. This is a result of the NVENC encoder being overloaded with things to encode, and so it can't encode everything on time. This isn't an issue with CPUs and X264 encoding, seeing as they have a lot more encoding headroom, just adding an additional webcam source isn't enough to push those CPUs over the edge. Now let's look at some gameplay footage between the 3900X and the 9900K, both running on the X264 medium preset, as in my opinion, this is really the deciding factor between these two CPUs. If you are desperate to stream at this preset, again, X264 medium is a really high quality preset, then yes, the 3900X is the clear winner. It's a lot smoother with no lagged or skip frames at all. The 9900K on the other hand is not going to be usable for most games at this preset in my opinion. The stream does suffer a lot in terms of overall smoothness. And for the sake of some additional perspective, here's what the X264 very fast preset looks like. In my opinion, this is absolutely usable as well.
inside the ring. Contact with hostile. So the new Ryzen 3900X is the better streaming CPU versus the 9900K hands down. It can stream at higher quality presets and it also does suffer less impact overall when streaming at those higher presets. So by definition, it is the better streaming CPU. However, I really don't think many people are really interested in streaming at X264 medium or X264 slow, God forbid, on a single PC stream. That leads me to sort of uh, introduce some discussion here because I personally think that X264 fast is absolutely sufficient for most people. At 1080p 60, X264 fast at a sufficient bitrate, let's say 6,000 to 7,000 kilobits per second, it really could go in either way. It really depends whether you want more average frame rate or more potential stability. It really depends on the game when we're talking about stability and frame time spikes there. The frame time spikes that you see with the X264 fast preset on the 9900K really isn't that significant. And we took a look at this in my initial review where we did compare the X264 fast on both of these CPUs in Far Cry 5. They were overall a little bit higher for the 9900K, but you're definitely not going to see spikes or stuttering on either of these CPUs when streaming at X264 fast. In regards to using NVENC on the new NVIDIA Touring GPUs, I can highly recommend it if you are not using additional sources like webcams. If you just wanna have streaming as an option to capture some additional gameplay alone, then absolutely this is what you should be looking at. Forget streaming on the CPUs in that case. If you're not going to be pursuing streaming or streaming with a webcam or anything like that, NVENC is a really good option there. It's actually what I would recommend if you just wanna stream casually. Also, uh, just a bit of a heads up, this is not not found on the GTX 1650. So from the GTX 1660 and upwards, all the way to the uh, 2080 Ti, for example, all those Turing GPUs have the new NVENC uh, hardware chip. For the possibility of adding in a webcam and just having some additional peace of mind, you really could go with either the 9900K or the 3900X for a streaming CPU if you are using the X264 fast preset. If you want to explore higher quality presets though, the 3900X would get my recommendation there. I'd also love to know your thoughts down below on whether you think uh, the 3900X's ability to stream at medium and uh, the slow presets, the really high quality presets, uh, is enough to tip it over as a streaming CPU for you personally, or whether very fast and fast is enough uh, for you. In that case, would you go for the 9900K because it has a higher frame rate on average? Love to know your thoughts down below. Hopefully we can get some discussion going. If you are interested in either of these CPUs and perhaps a Turing GPU, I will leave those linked down below in the description. As always, a huge thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely do that down below and I'll see you all in the next one.